Hi, my name is Kate and welcome to my channel. Let's talk today about nail plate preparation liquids. For the nail preparation liquids, we include cleaners and primers. In our Kohana brand, we have three different cleaners. Cleaner number one, number two and number three. Primers, two different types, acid-free and acid primer. Let's start with cleaners. Why we have three different types of cleaners? Cleaner number one, ready. It's available in two different sizes, 500 ml and 150 ml. Cleaner number one we will use to prepare natural nail plate to dehydrate nail plate layers. We have to dehydrate the natural nail to get the best adhesion with the gels. Cleaner number two. Cleaner number two as well is in the two different sizes, 500 ml and 150 ml. Cleaner number two, inhibition layer remover and perfect surface cleaner. What does that mean? You know when you cure your gels and after curing you still have sticky surface? You have to remove before filing and shaping. This is for cleaner number two. And in the end we have cleaner number three, perfect shine and gloss, flawless mirror reflection. Cleaner number three includes Sha Butter, that's why in the end, when you finish your treatment, you can white nail around and leave beautiful and shiny surface. Cleaner number one is uh, based on very strong alcohols, like dissolvent alcohols, for example, acetone. Cleaner number two is a little bit softer, it's based on isopropyl alcohol. Cleaner number three is the softest. It's based on isopropyl alcohol, but include Sha Butter. So let's talk now about primers. What is the difference between acid and acid-free primer? First of all, you definitely see the difference between the smell. If you're not sure what product you have in your drawer, just open them and smell. Acid primer, how to explain the smell? Hmm, you have to be very careful that that's definitely the case. And smell is like mm, very strong. You can actually feel really in your brain. Then smell of acid-free primer, it's more kind of like nail polish remover, like acetone. Mm, it's still strong, but it's nicer definitely than acid primer. Acid primer uh, include methacrylate acid, that's why you have to be careful when you apply on the nail plate. We apply acid primer only with few dots, wait when it's spread on the natural nail plate and definitely don't touch the skin as you can make a chemical burn because it's acid. Acid free primer we apply like nail polish, three strokes on the middle and on the side. Make sure you cover all natural nail plate. Acid primer, when after application, you have to wait when it will be completely dry before you apply any gel product. Acid-free primer never dries. It's leave a sticky layer, work like double sticky tape. Stick to the nail plate and leave the sticky surface for the products. Acid primer work inside of the nail plate, between nail plate layers, kill all the grease. Which one to use? It's really up to you and of course your client. Um, I would recommend to use acid primer for more problematic clients and then the acid free primer for clients that never nothing happened with the natural nails and extensions. Who is a problematic client? That's the clients who can have some hormones problems like hormone imbalance, maybe some thyroid problems or maybe they are pregnant. This can affect our nail extensions and the gel polish treatments. Problematic client as well as a client who will let you know that the nails doesn't last for them. The nails kind of fall off in one piece like a sticker. And then there is clients who never have any issues with nails. Never, they never lifting, they never break. Um, acid free primer will be perfect. Okay, so now maybe I show you how to apply these two different primers. First, I mat the nail plate with the file. Now I dehydrate the nails with dehydrator, cleaner number one ready. On the first nail, I will apply acid-free primer with three strokes. 
On the other nail, I apply dots with acid primer. Acid free will stay sticky, acid primer will completely dry. Now I apply ProBase with Super Gloss Top Coat and after curing I wipe the nails, first one with cleaner number 2 and middle finger with cleaner number 3. Hey, thank you so much for watching my video, I hope you like and you find new information. If you like, thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe my channel, thank you so much and see you soon.